Alhamdulillah, by Allah's tawfiq. We don't just come here and debate. Likewise, we do teach, especially usul. One of the things that I need to mention that sometimes, by the way, firstly, refutation, rudud in Arabic, which is refuting people with based upon knowledge and sincerity and justice and fairness, is from our deen. Okay? So, some scholars refute other scholars. It's from the deen. Because there's difference between refutation and between a warning and between a tabdi' calling someone an innovator. So in every refutation, therefore, the person who has been refuted, he, might, he must be misguided. He can still be from the Ahl Sunnah, but he said something which is wrong. One of the principles that people of innovation misguidance, they want to utilize to shut the Ahl Sunnah down, to not expose people of innovation misguidance, or to not refute. They say in order for you to refute someone, if you're going to mention his mistakes, you have to mention his goods. He's good, Afwan, he's good. So if you're going to refute his mistake, la Buddha, la Azim, you have to, you must mention his good. And this principle is bad, then it's false. It's, you don't have to. It's not must, okay? So what we have to do, my dear brothers and my sisters, may Allah bless you all, that when you refute... Uh, excuse me, you're disturbing. Yes, we do agree, go ahead, man. Can you take this donkey somewhere? Anyway, so this is Christian, by the way, Christianity. Look how, look, Jesus love. Yeah. Anyway, okay, we know, bye bye, God. You're a liar. Uh, should we go there? Ah, uh, she left. الله يلعنك في الدنيا والآخرة. الله عدوة الله ورسوله. أنا يجوز تدل أنا 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 معين sometimes. هذه هند بس. هي س لا لا استغفر الله لا سينا. هند صحابية لا سينا. لا 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 سينا. لا لا أبدا. صحابية. آه دونكي كام باك. كامو جو ده. كامو جو ده. الله يل في الدنيا. Hey, Anta. Hey, Akhi. Anta, I'm Muslim, inshallah. Anta, shah, shah, anta, al haqi. We have to start again, brother. No, 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 it's okay. I'm telling you, bro, start again. Because you're not up with the shit away, bro. You're going to start. Anyway, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I have to start again because of the evil lady. The wife, Abu Lahab. Allah, there's too many of them here. So what we say, my dear brothers and sisters, we don't just come here and debate and have discussions. Likewise, we teach the Muslims, you know? And this is something which, alhamdulillah, distinguish the da'wah of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'at, da'wah of Salafiyun, Al Hadith al Athar, that they teach. So, you know, rudud, refutation, what, what protect Islam from misguidance or from people try to add to it that people of Sunnah, any Muslim try to say something wrong about Islam, they'll refute him. And when they refute him, doesn't mean he's not a Muslim anymore or he's going to go to hellfire or he must be evil and everything. No. Okay, because there's a difference between uh, uh, refutation and warning and tabdi' calling someone innovator. So anyway, one of the principles of people of innovation and misguidance that they are utilizing to shut down people of Sunnah, they say, if you're going to refute someone, you must mention his good. You must. Lazim. You have to mention it's good. And this principle, Qaida, is batil. You don't have to. Okay? Sheikh Ben Baz was asked if it's needed, no problem, but you don't have to. You don't, not. Because sometimes what can happen if you start refuting someone and you start mentioning it's good, what happens? You confuse people. You see? And when, you, when, you, when we refute someone, a Muslim, doesn't mean he has no good with him. The good that he did is between him and Allah. But the time that we are refuting him, we're trying to clarify the truth. Okay? So don't start writing the comment section, Baqi, as many people become Muslims through him, he refutes liberalism. No, we don't know. Brother, it's a time of, we're not, we're not here to write his biography. Now, if you're going to write someone's biography, even you don't agree with him, 
you have to mention everything about him. Do you understand that? So there's many principles that people of innovation is guidance who hate a jalh wa ta'deel, refutation, criticize and praise, they bring to shut down people of Sunnah. The reason I mentioned that few few days back, I made a video against uh, Daniel Hakikachu, this brother who is on a mission to lie against Al Sunnah wal Jama'ah, slander them and lie against them. Some brother said, You mentioned it's good. I said, Listen, brother, I know this manhaj is batil. You see, but I'm just mentioning in case some people try to utilize it against us. He's a Muslim, no doubt, but don't try to say, oh, they believe all the Muslims are in the hellfire. That is a lie. Imam bin Baz, Ibn Uthaymin, Al-Albani, Fawzan, Sheikh Rabi, all of them said, no, you don't have to mention someone good when you refute his battle. When Allah refute Abu Lahab, Abu Lahab, you have something good with him. Allah don't mention his good. When Allah refute Al-Nasara, Lu'in al-Ladina kafaw bani Israel, those who Allah cursed them, they, they didn't do good, not good, they did good. But it's not the time to mention they're good. Do you understand that? So we have to learn, my dear brothers and sisters. Knowledge is very important. Especially the time we're living in, the time of social media, many people cannot sit down and read two pages from a book. Many people cannot do that anymore. One minute, that's it. Rather, there was a study at Oxford University, majority of people that watch YouTube videos, the longest they do watch, majority. How, do you know how long? 25 minutes. After that, they lose interest. Subhanallah. And we are people of the book, meaning that we read the books. Alhamdulillah, we have Quran. So we have to try to utilize our time to study because the knowledge is in the books. And knowledge before in the books is in the chest of the scholars. Do you understand that, my dear brothers? May Allah bless you all. If you don't agree, you can speak, akhwa. I'm not here to, if you think what I said is wrong, we can discuss it because we have the Salaf, we follow the Quran and the Sunnah and the way of the Salaf. So this principle, in order to refute someone, you have to mention it's good, it's false principle. Because Shaman said, it's not lazim. If someone mentioned it out of darura, there's no problem with that. But if you say you have to, it's batil, barakallahu alaykum. And may Allah bless you all. And I have to go anyway because I have to do some stuff, inshallah. I was not going to come today, but I said, let me come. And by the way, next week, inshallah, I will be in Bradford. I will be in Masjid Sunnah in Bradford, inshallah. We're going to be with our brothers, Masjid Sunnah, in Bradford, inshallah, next week. Coming to the Masjid, inshallah, to give a talk about we Muslims are in need of Islam. Our youth, you are in need of Islam. We have to understand, without Islam, we are nothing. If you are seeking honor, honor is in Islam. If you're seeking respect, it's in Islam. If you are seeking success, it's in Islam. Success of this life and the hereafter. And I don't want to speak about it in details because it's going to be, I'm going to expose my everything I have. So uh, I'll be giving a lecture, inshallah, next Saturday in Bradford in the evening, inshallah. You can check on our uh, YouTube channel, Das Dawa. May Allah bless you all. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 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 W